Okay, so hi everybody. It's hours later. I came out of surgery okay, and I have my port put in. And I've been laying around all day, I'm recovering from anesthesia, sleeping, being lethargic, and now I'm high up on pain meds, so I'm still kind of out of it, but <laughs> it's all right. I feel good for the first time in a long time. My neck it doesn't bother me too much because of the pain meds, so it's a okay. Anyway, I was going to show you the port. Um, I don't know if you're able to see it. If, if you go from the side, you can see it's a little bit raised. It's not too bad, though. It's not as bad as I thought. I was really grateful to have anesthesia and actually wake up and it was in and not have to go through it. So that was a plus. Here's a brochure they gave me that um, shows what it looks like. So it's good. It's basically a way to receive the chemo and take blood and do other things and not damage the veins in your arms. So it's it's pretty good. You know, it's it's a little creepy, but it's not as bad as I thought. Happy to have it. And um Team Power Port. <laughs> oh yeah, I got this bracelet. It is it's Bard Power Port. And um speaking of bracelets, I just want to shout out some of my friends. The people on that St. Rita's are really amazing. Somebody gave me my friend Judy gave me this um healing Blessed Mother bracelet that I think is really nice. And then someone else gave me this necklace that they made themselves. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's a Blessed Mother and Baby Jesus. And they soldered all that. And there's hands on the back, praying hands. It's really nice. Been getting tremendous support from everybody. And I appreciate it. Um, for now, I'm going to hang up my marathon medal because I haven't done that yet from a month and a half ago. It's still here. I have to add to my collection on the wall. This is the Honolulu Marathon 2016. I was happy to not be in the hospital because every year I'm in the hospital at that time for some reason. So whenever I'm able to actually be in the marathon, it's, it's emotional and yeah, it's amazing. So um, put add that to my collection over here of assorted races. And then it's kind of funny as I look at this wall, it means a lot to me because here back in, gosh, when was this? 1999, I believe it was. I was actually raising money for the Leukemia Society. And who would have thought, I mean, I would have cancer myself. This is my second go around. This, I just realized it right now. I forgot until I saw this poster. Um, yeah, I was trying to raise money, so there was that ad about me in the paper so I can raise money. But anyway, shoot. And then Run for life. Here's my survivor sash from my first time I had cancer in 2012. And hopefully I can get one of those again. And Wow, I forgot about this stuff. Um, anyway, I'm trying not to get emotional now. I forgot about that. So I'm going to hang this up. another one for next year. I should be starting chemo next week. I have to wait for a week for this port to heal and then I'll be ready to get started. I'm not allowed to camp anymore after all, says Dr. Moss, so I don't get the port infected and do a chemo, but that's okay. I can, I can wait. This is important. Um, anyway, uh, that's pretty nice on the wall. <laughs> Thank you for measuring it for me, <laughs> Tanner, so I don't mess it up. I think that's pretty good, huh? Um, <laughs> it's my survivor wall, and hopefully, like I said, I'll be able to do it again and, I don't know, deal with my port here and uh, stay tuned for some more videos to document my journey. Thanks for watching.